Hello everyone, welcome to Momna Bhatti vlog. Today the topic is very close to my heart and I think I recently learned how to do it myself. And why not? I want to share it with all of you that how can you also do it and how can you make it easy to say no to people for your own mental peace. It's very hard, especially for the empaths to say no to anyone. Whoever comes to us with their problem, we are very good listeners, we listen to them, we want to help them, we want to support them, we go to the greater extent of sacrificing our own selves just to help someone else or just to help someone build themselves. But we forget our own dreams, we forget our own goals, we forget our own healthy boundaries and we just dig deeper into our own graves. So how to say no to someone? If you're an empath, I personally understand it's very difficult to set those healthy boundaries to say no to someone. First of all, you need to know your own boundaries. You can't just keep on saying no to someone without a good reason. And you can't just keep on saying yes to someone without any good reason. So you need to personally know that where do you stand? Do you have healthy boundaries yourself? And if your boundaries are defined and you really know what you want to say no to, what you want to say yes to, then you can actually have the power to say no. Why saying no to some things is very important. Because I think that your energy, your time, your money, your mental peace is very important and is very valuable and more important than anything but yourself more important than anything in the world to waste on something which will not serve you or is not favoring you and it is constantly destroying you or bringing you down. So once you have defined your healthy boundaries and the things that you don't need in your life any longer, you should start the art of saying no, start practicing it from your own home. I know it sounds a bit rude that how can we say no to our own siblings, to our parents, to our relatives, to our friends, to our to the people who are close to us, people with whom we are living. It's so hard to say no to them. But you have to start it from your own home. When your mental peace is being destroyed, when someone is pushing you to do something, when someone is being abusive, being very unfair and they are trying to you know, uh, put you through the misery that you uh, don't deserve to go through, you should stand up for your boundaries and just say politely that, you know, sir, ma'am, mom, dad, sis, brother, whatever, that I understand you need me, but I have my own mental peace to protect and I need to work on my own happiness, work for my own happiness. And right now I can't do this for you or I can't be there for you at a particular time because something came up which is very important to me and I have my priorities set. Some people don't take no very productively, especially the narcissists or toxic or abusive people who have no empathy and they think that the whole world is serving them and their goals. They don't take no very nicely. So what you have to do once you have said no to someone who was close to you or not close to you, an acquaintance, a friend, a working partner, a colleague, an employee, anyone or your parents or siblings, you have said no to them. The next thing is that there will be a harsh response. Maybe sometimes there will be no response. Sometimes there will be a cold response. And how can you protect yourself from that kind of response or that trauma that is coming towards you just because you did not because you did not give them what they wanted from you the thing is that you have to just protect yourself and your mind by not allowing themselves to get into your mind or on your nerves the thing is that if you're living in the same place, you can just shut down your room or go out for a walk and just take a deep breath and, you know, tell them that we can't talk right now. If you are not living together, but you uh, you have a working environment in which you have said no to someone who was unfairly treating you, then you need to discuss it with the higher authorities that someone is bugging me or pushing me for something that I don't want to do. And you should really corner yourself and keep a safe distance from people who are violently um, trying you to trying to make you do things that are not healthy for you. So the first thing is your safety. 
if saying no is going to bring a lot of trauma in your life and a lot of abuse then you have to have a backup plan for your safety you need to go to a safe place where you are surrounded with people who will keep you safe and then only you can take a step of setting setting boundaries and saying no to someone in a healthy way remember that nothing is worth your mental peace nothing at all nothing on the world you are valuable you should spend your time spend your money spend your health spend them on people who are actually deserving of that anyone not deserving of it anyone draining you anyone not uh, returning the kind of uh, generosity that you are offering then you people are not on the same page and most probably you have to part ways with those people so i hope you're having a wonderful week and this was a casual talk between you and me that why is it so hard to say no i know it is very hard especially when you care about someone and it is so hard to disappoint them and make them feel down but trust me in the end they will understand you people who actually care about you they will respect your boundaries they will respect a no coming from you I hope you're enjoying my videos. Keep watching my narcissism series also, where I have talked in detail about narcissists. Who are they? What is narcissism? Where are these narcissists coming from? And I will keep on uploading all the content that will help you to build a better life. Take care of yourself and keep smiling. Be kind to everyone. Kind people are really hard to find nowadays, while mean and selfish people, world is full of them. So keep smiling and take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Such a love